welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to be painting on fabric and I'm going to show you how you can do that with just regular acrylic paints. So to start off, I just ordered a pack of plain tote bags. This is how they look beforehand. So it's going to actually be two videos I'm going to upload this week. The first video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can paint this flamingo onto your bag. This is how it looks. The second video I'm going to do later this week, I'm going to show you how to paint this sunflower bag. So you can use these bags for like a beach bag or if you want to take them on like a shopping trip with you or just something cute just to store a bunch of stuff because it is a pretty decent sized bag. Um, so I ordered a 12 pack of these off of Amazon. You can, um, there's all different kinds, different prices that you can get. So just um, look at the reviews, I would suggest always with Amazon. Um, but these turned out to be really great. I do like the color of them and they do seem to be very sturdy. So I can share the link in the description below with you guys on the ones that I ordered. So the first thing we're gonna need is some fabric medium. You will need this to mix with your acrylic paints. This keeps your paint from getting from drying hard or stiff on your fabric. So this is the kind that I got. You might not be able to see it because of the lighting, but this will also, I'll show you guys again later in the video what I'm using. So this is the paints that I'm using, um, just two of them, but they're just the craft paint you can buy at any type of craft store or your local Walmart. Um, it's the Apple Barrel brand. So you're also going to need some type of cardboard that you can stick in between your bag. Like you'll open your bag up and slide the cardboard in between because the paint will bleed through. And you don't want anything to bleed onto the back of your bags unless you plan on painting the back of your bags. Um, but I didn't paint the back so I wanted them to stay clean. So I used just some cardboard that I had um, and you'll see the paint come through when I've done the sunflower sun. You'll see some other colors too from the other bags that I did. Um, but just whatever type of cardboard that you have that you can stick between to keep your fabric from getting um, bled through when you're painting. So you guys, let's get started on the video and I'll show you guys how to paint them. Okay, so we're starting off inserting our cardboard into our bag. And now we're going to take our fabric medium and we're going to mix a little bit of fabric medium with our paint. So we have a dark pink and a light pink. And these are two colors that I'm using. So I just took a little bit of fabric medium and I'm blending them together. So now we're going to start off with our outline of our flamingo and this I'm just kind of freehanding kind of like a half S and I did start on doing the back just because it was easier for me to visualize it. So almost like you're doing a bubble letter. Now we're going to fill it in with our pinks. And I'm doing brush strokes out with my mix of my pinks. And then we take some water on our brush and just blend the edges of our flamingo. So now I'm taking some peach. It's like a light color peach to draw out the beak of the flamingo. And do a little bit where the eye is going to be. And then just doing some black that I'm mixing in with a little bit of the pink. So it's a little light. And then you can blend that tip with a little bit of your peach color and your black. And I use the same peach color to draw the line of the beak and to add a little extra detail to it. Now I'm using a red to blend in with my pinks and that'll give it more of that dark tone on my flamingo and I'm just going to brush over with some water 
with all of that mixed together just to give it a darker shade to it to try to give it a 3D and a textured look. So I took a smaller brush and I'm just mixing a little bit of white with some of the black to add like a really light gray for the eye. And then I'm doing a dark black for the, eye, the actual center of the eye. And just fill it in and try to blend it a little bit around the edges and I do a white dot on the eye just to make it look more realistic. So I'm taking a dark green and more of a forest green and mixing them together to do my leaves to surround my flamingo. And I added a little bit of fabric medium to it and some water as well. And then once we get down to the bottom corner, we're just going to paint the whole thing solid and then we can go back and add some detailed layers with darker colors and lighter colors to make them look more separated. So I'm starting off darker with this leaf and then I'm going to go back and add some highlights to it to give it more of a 3D look. So now just to overlap my two leaves, to separate them more, I'm just going back and adding some highlights to my corner leaf. And then we're going to add some highlights to the darker leaf to make it look more 3D. And I'm taking that light peach color just to draw the line to define the leaf, the center of the leaf. So same with this leaf over on the left corner. So we're just mixing the forest green with a, the light peach actually just to give it a really light color. And with this type of brush, I start from the outside and just drag my brush in. It's more of a rounded tip brush and it does really well with that. Now the brushes I'm using are just regular Walmart brushes that you can buy um, from any, any craft store. It does not have to be anything fancy. So 
So this is how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.